chicken shit. <laughs> oh, quick! with a simple task. Whoa. You can't be trusted with a simple task. Shut up, will ya? Shut up, Shrek. On! What's that work done around your house, sir? You've got to be joking, laddie. What's this creation, Carson? It's a cricket band handle, sir. <laughs> a cricket band handle, sir? A cricket band handle. Well, actually, it's a wooden leg, sir. Yes, he's making it for a three-legged dog. Or a two-legged smart alec. Yes. Now get back to your bench, he's going. Get back to work. I ought to send you down to the office. But they're sick and tired of your face. Now. Get back to work, or you'll find yourself shaking hands with this again. I said, what are we going to do this? Because you lot are the best qualified for the job, Carson. It's where the dummies, mate. So we should be getting paid. Hey, Excuse me, sir. Your ploy seems to be undone. When you lot hurried up, Richard, it's over. 
again, son. I'm sure you don't want to see mine. Now get back to your class. Tell Mr. Meldrum you had a little brush with the law. Nice taking care of the monkey. Now I'd like to have a little chat with the organ grinder. Come over here, Carson. Why is it, Carson, that every time I look out of my window, I see you being trailed around by an entourage of every known no-hoper in the establishment? Hmm? Why is that, do you think? Are they customers of yours, Carson? Oh, well, how do you mean, sir? What I mean, son, is that I'm very curious about this matchbox. Now, I've come up with a silly idea that you might know where it came from, can't you? Well, I don't know, sir. I suppose you don't know what this is, either. Well, I'm not too sure, sir. Stand over there, cousin. I want you to start disrobing. What, sir? Get your clothes off. What's all this for, sir? Would you like a tap to get you started? No, sir. Then get your clothes off. No, I'm more interested in what's in the trousers. What's all this, Carson? Your lunch money? I think you better start doing some extra fast talking, son. Well, that's me mother's shopping money, sir. What kind of mother would trust you with $50, Carson? 50 There should be $60 in there, sir. Listen, I've been teaching mathematics for 20 years, son. I don't need you to inform me that five tens are 60. Oh, sorry, Mr. Yates. Carson. In your case, I felt enthusiastic. Now, I know you're a liar, and I know what you're doing. And I know I'm going to catch you at it. That'll be the last we see of you, Carson. You just tell your teacher you had a little brush with the law. Um, sir, before I go, can I just save me money, please? You got one foot on the banana skin, son. Pardon, sir? My name is Sharon Hart. As you can see, I'm new. I'd like to get to know all of your names, but I'll probably forget as soon as you tell me. What's yours? Stephen. Oh, Stephen. Joanne. Joanne. Warren Miller, miss. Oh, Warren. Perry. 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 What's your name? Oh, Peter Boswell. Oh, Peter? Are you part of this class? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've just been down to see old Seedy. <laughs> old Seedy? 
Get a deputy, you know. I see. Did you have a little brush with the law, did you? Well, no doubt, Mr. Swinton must What'd you do here? Give it heaps. Yes, six. six. We're going to be bus? doing a reading course. You're going to teach us how to read. No hey. chance of teaching you nothing. Please. Well, I was hoping you might be able to read. Who's read? Who's that? He's only just learned she how to read. She did, Harry. He says he's my boyfriend. Oh, no, he's in no idea. What's the matter? Are you jealous it's or something? It's to help you with your reading, to get ready for the final exams, so that you become more efficient readers, more effective readers. Oh, so we can read the exam papers. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be real handy. Sure. Oh, uh, Miss Hart and Miss Fart, I don't know. She's a student. Just waiting on you two up at the back? She's probably up at something. I find it very hard to walk into a room full of strangers and just start teaching. I really need to get to know you a bit. Uh, Bruce Schweckert's the name. Look, Miss, just shut up, all right, and give her a go. Thank you. And you need to get to know me. I mean, there's a strong possibility we don't even speak the same language. You're a wog, Miss. <laughs> we might use different words, different expressions. I don't know yet. Maybe that's a good place to start next time. All right, let it go. The big city has turned the place upside down. Nobody leaves here until an announcement is over. Get back to your seats. Who was that? Oh, Miss Carson, Miss. You seem to have forgotten the meaning of our period bell. When that first bell rings, you are required to move promptly. It is not a signal to light up a cigarette in the toilet. In future, you will turn up promptly in your next class, or you'll find yourself turning up on my Friday afternoon. Attention. Where's the money? Yeah, 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Where's the rest? That's all I got interrupted. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to turn you upside down again. I'm getting sick of that. Me too. Looks like I better keep a lot then, eh? Uh, they cost me six cuts today. That's why it's safer in my pocket, eh? If you don't give me 10 bucks, you're gonna be selling the stuff yourself, right? Okay, I'll tell you what, little buddy. I'll lay on you five bucks. How's that? You did shit. <laughs> trying to stay on that machine. You could get yourself killed too, trying to knock off stuff out of my yard. Oh, <laughs> 
whether to give you a swift bird off the ring or get the cop aside ring and let them do it. Look, I wasn't trying to nick, I was just polishing it for you. What's going on, Redback? What's this light fingered little worm been doing? I told you not to get out of the fucking car, didn't I, eh? Oh, well, unless you can piss off. One more thing, Al. Don't bring smack into my yard, understand? You and Joe got business, you do it somewhere else. Sure. You, you're walking home, boy. You're related to that turd, eh? He's my brother. Got your best interest at heart, has he? What? Nothing. What are we going to do about this, then? What, you want to knock it off for? You collect them, do you? Oh, yeah, I've got about 40 at home. Oh, you're a bit of a bike man, eh? Oh, yeah, I'm getting one myself. Gonna knock it off bit by bit. Come in here. Shit, what's this? This is a red-back phoenix, mate. It's one of me customised blackbirds. Where'd you get it from? Well, the whole thing's sort of rose up out all that dead metal out there in the yard. And at the front end, it's off a mesh smith. The rear's off a of Holden. My mother knitted them handlebars. The mirror's from Woolworths. Listen, I've got to get back down to it. I've got a man coming in here tomorrow who wants to throw his leg over this thing. Tell you what, why don't you, uh, don't you come around on the weekend when I've got a bit more time to show you what goes on? What for? I don't know. I just thought you might be interested in seeing how I knock one of these together. Oh, yeah, that'll be great. Mm. Oh, I better be going then, eh? See ya. What's your name? Steve. Sight in a dark night. What's going on? What's going on? What are your bloody things going on? Where's mum going? Why don't you ask your friggin' mother? <coughs> hey, what about the aerial cop? That gotta go too? No bloody fear, it's not. I thought mum paid for the TV. Shut up. It's on our list. Why don't you go and take that mongrel of yours for a walk? Go on, piss off. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Lynn. <laughs> She's not getting that, so, mate. We're just following oh, instructions, mate. I don't mate. care. She's not getting a bloody TV, mate. Let him have it. She's not getting that. Let him have it. Let him have it. Oh, this is my Let TV. Let him have it. This is mine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bloody get in that television. Get in that television. Get in that
Oh shit. Get out of there, you happy clones. Don't get out. Yes, Mr. Stone out. Oh, take your dog out of my yard. Get out. That bank kitten is scared. No worries about that, Mr. Stone. Get out. Here, here, snowball. Who's come here? Who's? Dear Steve, I'm sorry I had to leave in a hurry without saying a proper goodbye. Things between your father and me have got much worse lately. I thought I was going to go mad if I stayed there any longer. If you look under the refrigerator, you'll find ten dollars that I've left for you. Make sure you get it before your father finds it. See you soon. I'm thinking of you. Love, Mum. You okay? Oh, it's just that my mum pissed off, that's all. What do you mean? She's going out with this bloke, I don't know. That owns a cake shop. A cake shop. You think that's funny, do you? I don't know what's going to happen. Don't worry about it. Things got better when my old man left home. Sir. Just turn around and face the front, lad. Yes, sir. <laughs> Number five. The Savannah Lands. Hey, Steve. Peace off, will you? Hey. This time spell it correctly. Do you want to see something fantastic? What? Just have a look. Come on, you got to lean right over. <sighs> Number six, the Murrumbidgee River. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Carson, <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing, boy? You stopped me by, I said. Well, I don't think you'll find it in her lap, son. Now turn around and sit down in that chair before I knock you off it. <laughs> yes, sir. Get your mind, what's left of it? Back on the Murrumbidgee. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Smart. How come they picked you for this? What would you know about cricket? Enough. What, your boyfriend teacher, did he? Oh, sorry, miss. I thought you have a boyfriend by now. Look, you don't have to know how to play cricket. The only thing you have to do is mark the roll and see if we don't take off on you. I think I can handle that. No, we had crossed for science last year. It was hopeless. What would you do if we did take off? Report you. You're a dobber, aren't you? No, I'm a teacher. Oh, you dead um, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Take these. <laughs> nice catch, Dougie. Lovely piece of pillow, mate. <laughs> Brilliant. Now put it away. <clears throat> there he goes. <laughs> oh, I forget about him, miss. He hasn't played cricket all year. Clam up, sweat. Come on. Were you a racer? Yeah. But I got smart. Is that you on the floor? Yeah. What happened? You crashed. Everyone in that game comes unstuck sooner or later. When you walk away from one like that, you uh, take the old fella's advice. Get out fast. Were you good or were you hopeless? I had some luck. Nothing spectacular. I didn't give a damn about nothing back then. It's only in for the charge. It's easy, all right, when you don't give a shit. Only can say when it all matters too much. Do you want to have a crack at it? Oh, I don't know. What do you mean, no? I thought that's why you was coming around. Oh, uh, on this? No. Yeah. Well, I'll in this. Right. Right, you have a go at it. You get these ones. How much does it cost to make a bike? Just concentrate on what you're doing. You're not cutting straight. I'll, I'll just find out how much does it cost. 
Alright, mate, we're now to bits and pieces. This. Five or six hundred. Five or six hundred? Yeah, I'll be right out of your league, mate, so I could get it. Concentrate on what you're doing. And Miss Hart tells me you uh, got lost on the way to the cricket ground again, Carson. Come in here and we'll sort this out. Hope you enjoy it. Sure, I would. You call that, mate. NG, I'd like you all to meet Mr. Curry. He's coming here especially today from the teacher's college. Thank you, Miss Hart. Morning, girls. Yeah, good morning. Boys. Morning. 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 Would you like to sit down, sir? Oh, thank you. Last time, remember, we were having a look at the ways in which people can communicate without using words. Using body language alone. We also discussed the different bodily gestures and signs that people use, often without even realising they're doing it. Like you all pointed out that when I get fed up with you, I fold my arms and raise my eyes to the ceiling or roll them. Well, remember I asked you all to be prepared to come out to the front with a partner and act out a short communication without using words. T-W-E-R-S. Now, I don't want anything complicated. Like I said, just a short communication using gestures. You didn't tell us nothing about that. Any volunteers? Not going to get more. Or shall I just go ahead and choose somebody? <coughs> Liz, would you like... No. <coughs> Miss, uh... There's something you should be aware of. There have been uh, communications passing up and down between various members of the class over there. And uh, I think that this should be brought to your attention. you out. But the stupid thing about it all is that nobody really cares what you do. They've written you off, matey. Oh, I couldn't give a stuff. I know. But you're not going to get away with writing me off. Oh, it looks like I'm going to be late for geography, eh, miss? Go and get out of here. It's vacant now, sir. Sooner or later, you'd be stealing one. There's a couple of things you don't know about me, pal. I've done some time. Spent a few years in the Nick when I was a kid. Oh, yeah? What happened? You think that's really something, don't you? Just goes to show how full of shit you are, mate. I stole a bike. This new Harley. Took it straight off the street. Just couldn't keep my hands off it. Then I rode it from here to Alice Springs. My bull. All day and all night. And I nearly got away with it. End up cost me three years. Boys home, jail, the lot. I wasn't going to knock off no bike. Well, you don't have to now, do you? Still, you're going to have to hustle a few bucks if you want to make anything out of that. 
No problems. Vicky Arnold. Oh, here, sir. Pay attention. David Barnes. Mr. Dale. Andrew Brodkowitz. Present, sir. Put that desk down and sit up. Stephen Carson. Yeah. Where's Carson? I'll see you at recess, Schweckert. Well, this doesn't have too much on it. You can show it to him, and then you can get him to come in and uh, with him and help him along that way. Um, this should help you out. Thank you very much. Um, Stephen George Carson. 17, eh? Yeah. Okay, take a seat over there. We'll call you in a few minutes. Okay, thanks a lot. <laughs> So, for the last six months you've been working as a mechanic at Redback's Bike Graveyard. Yeah, that's right. And what exactly were you doing there? Oh, uh, you know, the usual stuff. What's the usual stuff? Oh, uh, you know, a bit of welding, a bit of mechanic stuff, you know. Are you comfortable? Yeah. So, what went wrong? Oh, uh, he couldn't afford too many blokes working for him, no So he just had to let you go, eh? Yeah, he never wanted to, but... Is there a phone number there we could ring? If we needed, say, to make some inquiries. Well, what do you mean? Well, some future employer might like to know a few things about you. Might want a reference or something. Might like to know the circumstances under which you left. So we need a phone number. It'll be in a book, I suppose. Well, um, I wouldn't go ringing him now. It's, it's a bad time for it. I just want you to find the number for me, that's all. Yeah. How old are you? Seventeen. Yeah, I do look a bit old for my age. You mean a bit young for your age? Do you know what I think? I think you're lying. I think you should still be in school. Go on, get out of here now, before I have you charged. Oh, it's up. Thanks. Want a smoke, miss? No, I'm too thirsty. <laughs> That's sharp. Where'd you get it? It's for you. It's a present. See that? Solid gold. Why's it got FW on it? That's the brand. Looks nick to me. Give us a break. Jeez. Hey, look, he's wet him. Jeez, you're a clown, Moose. <laughs> you bloody young idiot. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> Look at that nincompoop. I told you we shouldn't have wrung him. If you're under 18, you are not permitted by law in this area of the hotel. Hey, I think we've got a problem. Oh, no worries. Oh, come on, what's the matter? Come on, Steve, you don't even look 15. <laughs> Thanks a lot, big colour I think we'll be going roller skating after all. And I'll stop with you. Oh. 
wrong place, kid. This is the hotel. What's the problem? The problem is you look about 13 to me. 13, you must be joking. Well, listen, mate, I've come here all the time. I know the bloke from the band, Ronnie. Go ask him if you don't believe me. You let me in last time yourself, remember? I was wearing a red shirt. Look, let me go through with you, no worries. Piss off, kid. Okay, what is this? What'd you do it for? I just wanted to. Oi, cut it out. What are you two doing? You and me, we're not like that. So what are we? I don't know, friends. Don't be dumb. Friends? What's the matter with you? We've been hanging around for four years and then all of a sudden you start coming on. What do you expect? Yeah, that's women for you. Look, she's been giving me a hard time too. You? You were never in a running. Look, forget it. She's got the hots for that house. Look, I don't want to know. So I'm kissing one last time. Shut up! Had her tongue right down his throat. Shut up. Had his hand right up her dress. Oh, Shut your face, Moose! Both hands! Grab in the tits! Shit, let me up! Oh, the smoke. Come on! Come on! Hold it! Okay, where is he? What are you talking about? Sorry. The boy. Get out. You're taking me with the boy. Excuse me. You're gonna be joking. I was just having a pee, wasn't I? Sorry. Yes, but I didn't expect you to show. Not after our little 
see Sharon. Bye, Scott. I just wanted to have a word with you. What about, miss? About some of the trouble you're in. I'm not in no trouble. No, well, that's not the story I've heard. Look, Steve, I know what you're doing. How do you mean? I've heard that you've been passing yourself off as unemployed down at the CES. Big future in that. And Mr Yates is under the impression you're running the marijuana business in the school. But I won't go into that one. You must be aware that just about every teacher in this school is after you for one thing or another. You skip their lessons, you steal everything that isn't nailed down, you tell lies, and you pull a lot of dumb tricks, and you don't face up to anything. I know what you do too. I saw you and Harris in there. Nothing escapes you. Look, I don't know if you plan to stick around and finish the year out. I don't know if your school certificate means anything to you. I don't care. Well, believe me, I don't think they're going to let you get that far. They plan to get rid of you. How do you know that? Because they plan to get rid of me. So just be careful, huh? Which one to tighten? Just watch. So that? Yeah. That one. Oh, you're bullshitting me. You're just guessing, you are. Listen, pal. You gotta pay attention here. This ain't school. <laughs> Special 99 cents. I'm sorry. I think that was on special this week. No, I'm sorry. They couldn't have one. One dollar, two, three, four, five, five, ten. Thanks. Uh, sorry, I should have given you this. I've got, I've got too much small change. Can I just swap it for that? Swap it on that, please. Oh, sorry, again. Uh, I left my girlfriend's phone number on the $10 note. Can I just have a look at it, please? Right, can you get a box? I'll wait. Well, that'd be a tragedy. Mm. Wait a minute. What are you trying to pull? Nothing. Go on. Piss off or I'll call the manager. Gary, come here. Can you give me a hand with this? Who showed you how to do that? Your brother Al, only smart thing he knows. Hey, that's your mother, isn't it? Talk to you now, love, can't you see? What did you do to your hair? Why well, don't you like it? Oh, so um, when do you come back? Oh, God, I don't know, love, things are a bit of a mess right now. How are things with you and your father? All right. Look, have you got something I can write on? I'm in a terrible hurry. Well, here. Mm, give you my number. What did you put in your hair? That looks ridiculous. Oh, well, thanks very much. Bye-bye. Well, I'll see if I can ring you up tonight. All right. Oh, what, Sorry, I just got it. Thanks a lot, my boy. Yeah. Hey, mate, give us a telly. Yep. Yeah. That's him. He's the one.
can I do for you fellas? Uh, we want to see a young bloke of yours called Stephen Carson. Uh, yeah, not surprised. What's he done? I'll get your big off out of my flowers, you galoot! You trample my petunias, son. It'll be the last step you ever take. Not a bad display, would you say? We took out second prize in the Herald Gardening competition last year. The Southern Division. Yeah, very impressive. Uh, so when can we see Carson? I'll oh, see him. You can feed him to the lions, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, oh I'm sorry about that. No, it's OK. Mm -hmm. Here, take this, will you, son? Yeah, uh, just follow me. Come on. All right, Bruce, what have you brought in today? <laughs> <laughs> Carefully tear off end of foil pack. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> roll an inch or so off the sheath and and squeeze tip so as to leave empty space to collect semen. <laughs> Well, I thought you were supposed to have a reading problem. You've got to read directions, mate. You shouldn't be using them. <laughs> Before intercourse, roll onto Eric. Erect, mate. Erect. Penis. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you, Miss Hart. What's this? I thought you were supposed to be helping him with their reading. I am. They're reading directions. Yes, well, it sounds more like family planning to me. <laughs> I can tell you they don't need any help with that. Understood? Anyway, we'll talk about this later. Are these chaps would like to have a word with our friend Mr. Carson. Steve, I... He's not here. What's he doing? Skipped your lesson. Where's your mate Carson today? There's no need to look, son. He doesn't appear to be in the room. Who was sitting here? When do you mean, sir? I mean about one minute ago. Thank you, Mr. Schweckert. <laughs> Thanks very much. See you later. OK, you can sit down. I've measured out my life with coffee spoons. I know the voice is dying with the dying fall beneath the music from my father's room. So how should I presume? What are you up to, Carson? Oh, oh, oh shit. Uh, just, just a minute now. Not to you lot then. Sprogus and Harris only. As soon as we pick him up, I'll hand him over to you. Good afternoon, Carson. What's it? Is this him? Two hundred bucks worth of newspapers you knocked off. Jesus Christ. Where'd all that bloody money go, eh? Hey? Hey? Spend it on me bike, didn't I? Ah, uh, bloody answer me back. What the bloody hell is this? Ah, oh, don't tell me you're hitting the piss as well. It's for you, it's a present. I, I suppose you knocked it off. No, it's the money I earned. Steve-o, mate. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, no, no, what's the matter with you? Oh, I can't pay for this. I'm back at the Vulcan. Oh, I don't bloody know why I always keep hitting you, son. Oh, I guess a man's just a bloody no-hoper. Well, both a couple of no-hopers. Huh? It's Steve. Steve Carson. I want to talk to me mum. Well, she's not bloody here. Yeah, right. Got something more profitable for you. What? Smack? I'm not touching it. There's no problem. You don't have to find the customers, you just deliver. I've been getting some inquiries from the guys around your school. Well, I'm not touching it. But you're scared, aren't you? I'm no pushing, I know, I know what that shit does. No pushing. Jesus Christ, who are you? Little Mr. Festival of Light. Listen, little buddy, this is money we're talking about. Not your piss week $10 a matchbox. I don't like doing it either. I like the money. You're not the one taking the risks. You don't have to arrange nothing. Just do some deliveries. I'm leaving it with you and I'm giving you some names. Take your time, why don't you? You've been jerking off in here, have you? I'll get started. Hey, Carson. We've been looking for you. Okay, now where's the smack? I haven't got it on me right now. I said you was bringing it today. Uh, I left it at home. Lunchtime, right? Back of the oval. You don't show Carson and you get your head hammered. Drop your life third. Swallow that spitball mass. Please do anything, sir. 900,000 unemployed out there, and you lot address yourselves to the problem by rolling spitballs. I must say I feel sorry for you people, because I don't think you're going to be able to cut the mustard once you get past the steel gate. <laughs> no need to snigger, son. It doesn't mean what you think it means. Here, get your hands up on the desk, Carson. Some of you people haven't got the attention span of a cabbage moth. Thank you, sir. Oh, why waste my time being so concerned? Uh, you know You've already given me one, sir. Uh, you're the ones with the problem, you know. My time's nearly up. Next year, I'll be happily knocking a golf ball around the course in Port Macquarie while you, and you know it all, mates, will be out scrounging your next meal. Yeah. Oh. Who made that smell? Yeah. Which animal in our midst was responsible for that vile stink? Get outside, Schweckert. This isn't a barnyard. I'll deal with you later. Are you addressing me? Get outside and shake yourself. I can see it's pretty clear I'm wasting my time talking to you a lot about careers. Maybe we should spend the next few weeks talking about life on the dole. What do you know about life on the dole? Oh. Ooh, good point there, Carson. Probably the most perceptive contribution you've made all year. But one thing I can guarantee you, come the end of the year, you lot will be authorities on the subject. Good 
thing you showed, Carson. I'll keep your promise, don't I? Yeah, be good. It's a smoker's pit! It gets delightful! Get Carson! Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to meet Mr. Holloway and Mr. Greer. These men are detectives. They've come all the way from Bondi and they don't like to waste a trip. Oh, Carson, it appears we've got you and the evidence this time. So I think you're all going to be extremely cooperative. I doubt if I'll even have to call upon the assistance of my friend in the cupboard. OK, thank you, Mr. Yates, but we'd like to have a talk to them now, if you don't mind. Oh, yes, of course. Let's go. This is the evidence. And this one. So, how'd you get mixed up in this kind of trouble? Well, oh, I don't know. Me, um, my daddy's a joint at the A.V. Hemmings. Uh, it's a factory where they make all these fly screens and all this. And, and he got the sack and he was six cents and now he's got arthritis on both his legs. And, and, and right now he's in the hospital getting his heart fixed up. What's all this got to do with selling marijuana down behind the school oval? I'm not selling no marijuana. I'm just helping me old man out with cigarettes and all this. Oh, sorry, I just, I just can't think. Listen, son, I want a few answers, and I want them now. Because the way it looks to me, fella, you're going to be spending the night in the cell. He's there, he's got oh, God. Oh, those prefects, they... Are you all right? They knocked me down. <laughs> What do you know about the family? That was a sad case. Father an alcoholic. This is crazy. What's the matter? The kid's blacked out. What'd you do to him? You got someone here who knows about first aid? One of the senior boys might have roughed him up a bit, but he was all right. Detective Don't Constable worry. Green, I'm all right. Pull me through the casualty, will you? Knowing Carson, he's probably putting on an axe. The kids have been hit on the head. Could have internal bleeding, a fractured skull, cross nose right. Go and have a look, will you? Is he all right? So this is the way you handle trouble makers, is it? Righto, Jeff, let's go. Go? But the ambulance will be here in ten minutes. His breathing's okay, there's no need to panic. So you're not taking this any further then? Frank, the kid's laying on the floor out to it. Don't you think they're taking it far enough? You mean you're not making any criminal charges? There's nothing there. Well, what about the others? What about the drug dealer? That's entirely up to you. Do what you usually do. Belt the shit out of them or suspend them. It's your show. But listen, Frank, will you do us a favour? In future, don't bring us all the way out here unless you've got a case, OK? Thanks. Nice fish. Especially the flathead. <laughs> Hello, 
little buddy, what's this I hear about you ripping off some customers of mine? Giving them self praise and flour instead of the smack I gave you. It was chalked us. Hey? It was chalked us, not self praise and flour. Listen, smart ass, I want to know what happened to my smack. I flushed it straight down the shit house. You can go down the tube looking for it if you like. Fair enough. This should cover it. You bastard, I told you I wasn't going to sell it. But don't try messing me around in future, eh? You know your trouble, little buddy? Because you're as slow as the old man. A good deal would have to be halfway up your ass before you saw it coming. You got him in? Yeah, Dad. Our yeah, boy's gonna thrash him. He's gonna go like his ass is on fire. Ready! With Trecido. About a length and a half clear here from Olivia Baby. A length to Sweet Willie and another length further back in the field. Oh, shit, sorry. Stuff and hell. What the bloody hell are you doing? Hey! To let him go too soon, you stupid dongo. How many of these stuck bloody rabbits do you think we got, hey? Come here. Come here. Go on, put him in. I don't know why we're wasting our time testing that mongrel of yours. All he's good for is turning steak into dog shit. And you bugger it up this time, boy, and I'm gonna bloody tie you to the wire. Did you mean it? Go for it, Maxie! What did you do? Stick something up his ring? Look at him. I told you, he's like your mother. He's bloody hopeless. Hey! Hey! You useless bung. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna teach him to keep his bloody mind on the job. You better not hurt him. Piss off. Um, piss off the school. You're gonna poison Megs. Get out of me bloody way before I clap you one. Huh? <laughs> you bring that bloody dog back here! Hey! <laughs> 
Off. It's my little buddy, hell. It was a bad thing what he done to you. But you know the old man. Half the time he gets himself so pissed he wouldn't know whether it was Pitt Street or Christmas. The bastard's done worse things to me. Ain't no use in crying about it. It's just not good business keeping a dog that can't run. He could run? Maybe. See, that's the difference between you and me, little buddy. You run around acting like the little crim, but you're still too soft. It's just no good getting attached to a stupid dog. See this? This is what I get attached to. You can have it. Now, if any of you are wondering why you're looking at this choice crew, then listen carefully. These miserable individuals are up here because they have broken the rules of this school. They have broken the laws of this state. And they have brought shame upon themselves, their families, and most importantly, on all of you. Are you listening, son? Go on, get out. Now you, the bloke next to you, Griffith, get to my eyes. They have behaved foolishly and destructively by bringing drugs into this school. And unfortunately, they are not the only ones at this assembly to have done so. What do you think you and they are going to pay the penalty. They won't be sitting for their exams. They won't be getting a school certificate. And they certainly won't be coming back for a second chance. These illustrious worms are about to graduate onto the scrap heap of unemployment. Well, I think we've seen all we want to see of you three. You've got nothing to say for yourselves, and I've certainly got no intention of wasting any more words on you. Go on, get back to my office. Now, on to more pleasant matters. Tickets for The Sound of Music will be on sale from next Monday. I want all volunteer ticket sellers to report to Mr. Brady immediately after this assembly. Top day for it, eh? Not planning to go for a ride on that thing, are you? Yeah, I just wanted to show it to someone. It's not it that bothers me. It's you I'm worried about. Look, I can handle it. No plates. No license. What do you think you're doing? I mean, if they catch you, you'll never ride again. That's just it. I'm not going to get caught, eh? Hey. Do you want to go out for a spin? Such a kick. Where do you think you're going? Out. Oh, I'm just going up the street. Hop on, will ya? You? you expect me to get on this heat? Shut up and get on, will ya? What's the matter? You're cold. <laughs> yeah. Mother, she reckons she don't care what happens to me now. She reckons I'm in all this trouble because of hanging around with you. Me? 
You should have told her you'd been hanging around that prefect. That's what went wrong. Harris is a dead shit. Well, there's plenty more where he came from, eh? Okay, okay, what's this? We've been hanging around each other for four years and you come on all of a sudden. <laughs> come back here and sit down. We then haven't just finished tell yet. me who made these accusations. Hold your voice and come inside. No, I'm going to the Federation. Now look, Mr. Yates, I'm going straight to the Federation. Bring him in. I'll sort him out. Well, Mr. Costner, very sorry, but there's not a great deal I can do. What? Yeah, we don't, as I say, have any easy answers for a boy like Stephen. We're not a reform school. It's a very unpleasant decision to have to make, but there it is. I think we should bring him in and tell him. Hi. Uh. Uh, please stay in the office. Stephen, we'd like to talk with you. Listen, uh, I taught him everything I know. Now, Mr. Carson. And he still doesn't bloody know anything. Jesus Christ. Just who in the bloody hell do you think you are? You can't even speak the bloody language. Come with me, boy. Hey, miss, what are you doing? What's it look like? What, they beat you out already, did they? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, look, I'm sorry, Steve. I just can't talk about it now, okay? Will you come back or what? I don't know. I'm in a lot of trouble here. It's hard to explain. What about you? How come you're still hanging around? I thought they'd taken care of you already. Oh, no, I'm leaving today. Did you challenge it? What do you mean? Did you put up a fight? You can challenge it, you know. You're entitled to sit for your exams. So you're just going to let them waltz you out the door, huh? Oh, they're already taken care of that. Oh, if that's the way you feel, there's probably no point. Okay. Good luck. Maybe I'll run into you sometime. Yeah, okay then. So later. Bye.
Look at that plan I made, son. It's <laughs> a killer bastard. Here, give us some light. Here's your fault. Victoria Arnold. Steve has her name. Attitude of disrespect. Fuck. Bloody shit. And I don't want it. Exam papers. Yeah. After he has deducted his savings, a man has $60 left from his weekly wages. He spends a third on food. He spends a quarter on remaining remainder on his clothes. And $8 per week on running his car, right? How much does he have left? Couldn't give a shit. What was the question? <laughs> I'll work on that. Yeah, not out for long. Hey, Steve. Look where all our lives have ended up, the old turf. Yeah. Fine colleagues. I'll take those Mr Yates, thank you. What's going to happen now? Well, uh, we'll just change our number plates, we'll drive to Alice Springs, change our identities and we'll hide under a rock for a couple of years, eh? Seriously, what's going to happen? Thirteen. Thirteen. That is the answer. What are you talking about? After he has deducted his savings, a man <laughs> has $60 left from his weekly wages. He's still working on that. 
He spends a third on food <laughs> and eighty dollars per week running on his car. <laughs> Hang on, I'll work on that. Your old man's car ever got the filler up, eh? Yeah, that's right. It's got to take it in before breakfast. What do you want? A couple of dollars worth? No, I guess fill it up. I'm going to go in the shop and just start the car. Huh? time you use it. Couldn't have picked a better getaway machine. I know they're looking for you. 
I heard what you done. I was just gonna... Oh, I know what you're gonna do, mate. I've seen the show before. What are you waiting for? I ain't stopping you. Your choice, pal. You can take off. Give them all around for their money. Well, they'll probably catch you somewhere down the track. At least you can say you had a shot at it. Take it easy on the curves. Remember, you never got round to fixing the brakes. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, one more thing. Stay well clear of Alice Springs. Right, thanks. Good going. See you, Redback. Thanks a lot. Yeah.